welcome them to the stage right now. Hold on. Woo!
Tom Story. It's why we're here today. And everyone needs to feel significant. That's right. It's a basic human need. Everyone wants to feel loved. They want to feel appreciated. They want to feel inspired. They want to feel admired. The majority of the world, right, they get married and they have no idea how to communicate with each other. They don't know how to grow together. They don't know how to talk to each other, right? You have unrealistic fairy tale expectations, and then all of a sudden life happens. You start to drift apart. You start to get a little bit disconnected, right? And then boom, tragedy hits. Yes, and after two decades of this roller coaster thing we call marriage, we've been through addiction, bankruptcy, gambling, we've been through alcoholism, miscarriages. I mean, we've been through a lot. Man. I know, and I'm only like 20. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> you look 20. Well, I mean, <sighs> it's hard for me to look at you, baby. You are so sexy. Let me tell you what. <laughs> In all seriousness, I want you to imagine something with me. Oh, you might need to be next. <laughs> imagine you abandon your wife and kids at their greatest time of need. The ones that you love the most, you turn to drugs and alcohol and betray them, betray that trust. And then even when you're done, and you're in the recovery stage and you have that overwhelming guilt that you can't climb out of, you're stripped of all your self-confidence and you're kind of playing the victim role, right? And Shaka touched on that a little bit. You're still not serving your family in that state either. Yeah, so listen, Brian climbed out of his stuff, right? But I knew he still wasn't the man that I knew he could and our marriage definitely was not where I knew it could be. So what did I do? I became the change. Yes, the change did. that I wanted to see in him, the change that I wanted to see in our marriage. You did. Yeah. You're amazing. Sometimes I just space out looking at her, so that's why I <laughs> walk over here. All right. So, but it was amazing. She became the change that she wanted to see in me. She showered me with gratitude. Mm -hmm. She showered me with affirmations. She believed in me. And let me tell you, it wasn't soon after that, I was like, man, wow, I need to stand up. I need to be the father that my kids deserve. I need to be the, what, the husband that my wife deserves. Right? And he did. And so we started and we to grow. We did. Fast and forward. We started to grow, and we started to realize that we truly were better together. And we continue to grow, we continue to learn. Our marriage just continues to get better. But what we realized really quickly is we didn't want anybody else to have to go through that. We didn't want anybody else to have to suffer. That's right. So we don't want any other couple to suffer or go through what we went through because they don't know what we now know because we lived it, right? Right. So now here's the exciting part. We created a movement. We created a movement. We're using all that pain from the past. And we're going to use it as power for the future. It's about where we're going with it. And we want all of you to come with me. Let's go, everybody. Listen, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on therapy. That was a lot of for us of going backwards. It out, playing game, didn't work so great for us. Then we even tried going to some marriage retreats, which had some great content, but they were so boring. And then we even found some really great resources and books that we continued to grow with, but they were lacking something. And we finally realized what it was. It was A community. community. Right? Tell how other people are going through what you're going through. And so that is really the reason why we created Marriage Movement. Because there's a lot of people out there that want to see their marriages change, but they're not willing to put in the work. That's right. Nobody, want, Everybody wants to see that result, but they're not willing to do the work. So, really quick, how many of you, by show of hands, have things that you absolutely love about your spouse? 
Woo! Hands all right. Love it. Okay. I gotta raise my hands. Okay. Remember, we're in a church, so you have to be honest. How many of you have things about your spouse that annoy you to no end? Look, look. Brian and Bob are everybody ready to go with their life. It's okay, you laugh at that. That's funny, right? Blair and I, we celebrate our strengths, but we have learned a skill to laugh at our weaknesses. Yes, absolutely. I totally promise you. You can't do that, babe. You can't do that. We have a challenge. Yes, okay, so listen, here's the deal. We have a six week challenge in Mastermind that's coming up in September that we want you to be a part of. Absolutely. So I have a question, and we want to have a conversation with you guys in the back during one of the breaks. We want to meet you. We want to learn how we can serve you and what Glenn and his amazing team and all these speakers here are doing to help you grow your business. We want to do to help you grow your marriage. Because I can tell you from experience that when your marriage is right, then everything else falls into place. Absolutely. Here's what I want you to do. Those of you that are married, even if you're not married, I want you to write down what are three things that you would want to see in a perfect marriage, in an ideal marriage. Write down three things, right? Because I want you to think about, like, if those three things came true or if they happened, what would it feel like inside of your home? What would it look like inside of your home? What would it sound like inside of your home? So as you're thinking about that and you're writing down those three things, here's what we're going to think about. What do you currently have set up at home to achieve those three things? What do you have currently set up in your marriage to achieve even one of those things? Okay? And if the answer is nothing, then we'll see you in the back. Right? Okay? If the answer is something, but it's not enough, then we'll see you in the back. And if the answer is everything, like Krista and Rob, but you want more, <laughs> we'll still see you in the back. Yeah. Okay? Alright, I think they got the idea, but what you I can so. do, here's what you can't do. You can't put your marriage on the back burner anymore. Don't wait. Say better, and you guys say it together. All right. Okay. Ready? Better. Yeah. 